All right, here we go. This is science week eight. Let's start with reviewing our homework from last week. All right, this is our homework. And last week I did give you one answer. That is number one. Number one is, so this rubber tree is number one. And this is a rubber tree, so that means E is number one. Good. And number two, clay. That's right, it's A. A is clay. Number three, here, let me change the color. E, A. Okay, number three is sand. Which one is sand? B. That's right. And four, iron ore. That's right, it's D. And five cotton plant yep it's C all right now rubber glass metal ceramic and fabric is made from those four uh, those five materials rubber is made from which one rubber trees clay sand iron ore or cotton plants that's right it is made from rubber trees and glass is made from sand Metal is made from ore. It can be iron ore, it can be gold ore, silver ore, any kind of ore, but this one is iron ore. Iron ore, because there's many kinds of metals. Ceramic is made from clay and fabric is made from cotton plants but of course there are many kinds of fabrics there's polyester nylon and cotton so there's different kinds of fabric one kind of fabric is made from cotton all right let's go back and finish our change Oops. zoom in all right so let's read together here read with me okay we oui learned that some materials can change when heated or cooled. This can also change the properties of the materials. Let me circle this word, properties, and let's talk about that really quick. What is a property? A property of butter is soft or hard when it's cold. If it's really cold or frozen, it's hard. If it's warm, it's soft. And what about the flavor? Butter tastes... Mm, like butter, but when we cook it, the, the taste or the flavor changes. So, butter. Uh, let's talk about one more. One more material here. How about a tree? A tree is made from wood. And what is the properties of a tree? Well, one, it can grow. 
Another property is it's hard or strong. Okay, so those are some properties. Now, heating and cooling, so we have heating and cooling here, or heat and cool, can change materials. And let's learn about that. Heating is when a material gets more heat, making its temperature increase like burning or sun drying objects so let's take a look at a couple sun dried objects right here so the sun is drying out the pork and it's also drying out this pork Cooling is when heat is taken off from a material, making its temperature decrease, freezing, or leaving hot objects to cool down at room temperature. Let's take a look at an example. All right, so we have bricks. So let's talk about the properties before and after. Properties before, properties after. And this is heat, okay? Before, it's soft and brown. and weak. After it becomes hard and red and strong. So heat changes the clay a lot. Let's see how it affects popcorn. When heated, corn kernels change in shape and become popcorn. Let's take a look. Just one kernel is like this big. And a popped kernel is like this big. So what's one property that changes? It gets bigger. But when you eat a kernel that's dry, it's very hard. And when you eat popcorn, it's very soft. All right, so those are some properties that change with heat. Let's look at some properties that change. Ooh, where are we? Ah, there we go. Next page, 65. So in this case, there's two steps. We add heat to glass blowing. They blow hot air and then they blow hit air into the glass so they add the heat and it makes the glass soft so in this case it's going to be hard then soft and then cool back down to room temperature and it becomes hard again And that's how they make cool glass sculptures. And what about cooling jelly or agar? Agar or gelatin? When we mix agar and gelatin into water, 
it becomes a gel when it's cooled down. It doesn't need to be frozen like water. You can put it in the fridge and it'll turn into jelly. This you can pour like water and this you can cut with a spoon. And finally, let's talk about water. Freezing water will change into ice. Okay, we'll change it into ice. Okay, that's very easy. But we need zero degrees Celsius to turn water into ice. Next up is some practice. Let's take a look at heating things. The first one is two steps. One, and two. The first step with this metal bar is adding heat. When we add heat, it turns into a liquid. A liquid is like water. So you can pour it and it will fill in any shape. So you can put it into a mold and it will fill in the shape. And then after it's in the shape that you want it to be, you can cool it down and you have your new sword. Next we have cookies. We're adding heat to the cookies and it changes what's inside. Inside we have butter, flour, chocolate chips, and then we add heat and it changes the properties of the butter and the flour and the chocolate and the sugar and it makes the cookies from being soft to being crispy and chewy. So it changes the properties of the ingredients. And finally we have water. The water when we add heat and it gets to boiling point 100 Celsius it will start to steam and this steam is water vapor water vapor or steam so we can say it's steam and that happens because the water turns into a gas it's now something we can breathe we don't drink it we can breathe this inside to our lungs. Now let's take a look at cooling things. If we cool rain, it's a very, very cold day, it will become snow instead. If we take milk and cocoa and sugar and we add and we mix it in the cold, then we can make ice cream. If we take ice and we bring it down to zero degrees Celsius, we can make ice cubes. All right, so let's look at our homework. We have two parts. One, write one object each for materials. So write one fabric material or one fabric object one metal object or thing and one wood object or thing. It could be in your room or in your house. And for part two, write 
heat. Well, let's write it correctly with lowercase h. Write heat or cool to finish the sentences. So ice needs cool or ice needs heat. I wonder which one it is. All right, that's it for today. See you soon. Bye, guys.